kids. I hope you're having a great day today. I'm so excited to talk to you about today's scripture passage and story. It's from John chapter 3, and it's one of the most famous scriptures of all time. John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son. And we're going to talk about what that means a little bit. Jesus was talking about a story in the Old Testament when the Israelites were in the wilderness and Moses was leading them and they were grumbling and upset and these snakes came and started biting the people and they were getting sick. Some people were even dying from getting bit by these snakes. Do you like snakes? A lot of people are very scared of snakes. And so what God did when the people asked for help is told Moses to make a snake so that people could see it, um, a, a fake snake. And when people looked at it, they were healed from their snake bites. They were healed. And so when we think about God giving Jesus to us, we remember that God gave Jesus to heal us. God gave the world Jesus, his son, so that all of us might be healed by Jesus. So for your activity this week, I want you to make a spiritual first aid kit. You know what a first aid kit is, right? It has band-aids and it has um, cleaner and it has things you need in case you get a boo-boo, in case you actually get hurt. But we're going to make a spiritual first aid kit. And it has things that you might not expect in it. And I'm going to show you what is in my spiritual first aid kit. Okay? So, some things that are in my spiritual first aid kit are a pencil. And what the pencil means is to remember to write down all the blessings in your life. Sometimes when we remember to be grateful, it heals us and it helps our attitude in a lot of ways. I also have an eraser. And this reminds me that even when I do something wrong and I feel really icky and guilty about it, that eraser reminds me that God can erase my sin, that God can take away my guilt and help me to feel better and remember that I am God's beloved. I also have a rubber band. This reminds me that I'm actually more flexible than I thought, that when things get hard, um, I remember that God made me so that I can come back and heal, and even when I get stretched out, that it doesn't mess me up forever. I can um, remember that, and it helps me to heal. This one is a cough drop, and then this reminds me that sometimes I need to ask for soothing words from other people. So maybe going to your parent or a friend and saying, I'm feeling down, can you give me some soothing words? And these soothing words can actually really heal us. I also have a battery that reminds me that sometimes I don't feel good because I ran out of energy. And this reminds me to recharge and to rest and to do the things that help me be healthy. And two more, I have a paper clip. This reminds me to stay connected to Jesus. So doing the things that I need to do like prayer that help me stay connected like this paper clip holds papers together. This reminds me I need to be held next to Jesus if I wanna be healthy. And finally, I have this old key. I bet your parents somewhere have a key. They don't know what it does anymore and they would give it to you. And this reminds me that God's heart is always open. I have the key to open up God's door and sit with God and be healed by God no matter what. So yeah, these are some of the items in my spiritual first aid kit. And I want you to put together a spiritual first aid kit. I'll put all the items in the YouTube video. And then your challenge is to think of somebody who might need healing. They might need physical healing. They might need healing in their heart. They might need healing in a relationship. And I want you to think about what can you do to help be a healer to someone else. Remember our scripture today is John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son. He gave his son so that we would be healed and all people would be healed. Friends, remember that God loves you and God is with you and you are gifted, and you are important, and God wants to work with you to make this world the way God wants it to be. 
so proud of you and I can't wait to hear your stories and see your first aid kits and what you put together and hear about your challenges. Have a wonderful week. Have a great spring break if you're having one like me. Bye-bye.